Today, we're going to be talking about Your Eternity Season 2, Episode 3. <laughs> Thanks for the cheer. I'm going to tell you why they're curious so much about that. So keep on watching. It's quite the, uh... Political... Politicized episode. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, alright? Well, first order of business, the thumbnail. This was after she uh, got a uh, got rather shocking news, or at least him. Tinabi kasi ni Bon, yung, uh, yung prinsipe ng Oralis Kingdom na umuli sa kanya, that uh, he, he already decided on helping uh, Pushy fight the knockers. So, He's going to lend him an army. But for me, I I'm interpreting this as a um, sign of elation. Pero, I'm having trust issues with this one. So we're going to um uh, we're going to deep dive into that as this review goes on. So on to the nitty gritty of the episode. Pace. The pacing is just right for episode that wants to impart the uh, political angle to it. It has to be slow, but it doesn't have to be excruciating at times. Ito, well, hindi pa. Because the political angle of season 2 is starting to develop right here. I'm seeing this, uh, this season of uh, Your Eternity as a as a soon to be politically charged season because of Bond. Bottom line, guys, I have my trust issues with politicians. Oh, yep. The pacing made me realize that. Do I have complaints? Nope. Absolutely not. Trust. Tandaan niyo, Bushi is a sponge. Incredibly. After 200 years, yeah, he's still learning. He's still learning things. Because uh, well, is constantly evolving at this point. Because it's advanced ang, ang, uh, ang civilization at this point. So the politics can be that complicated already. No, no man. First leadership here was when Wahaku showed Bushi his wanted poster. For me, I call that a leadership. Why? After being a free man for almost 200 years, Bushi, all of a sudden, he, he just found out that he is a wanted alien. And he's being branded as a heretic. If you, uh, if you, if you disagree with me, of, uh, with, uh, with this scene being a gear shift, comment below. Let's talk about it. Second gear shift. Was when Bond captures G. No brainer of a clear shift there, folks, because a new character has been introduced. Bond has just introduced himself in such a way that there's a great cloud over his head. Instantly, magkakaroon ka na ng ano rito eh. Magkakaroon ka na ng mag-aalinlangan sa character na to. Is he really a friend? Or is he actually a hindrance to push his development? Final gear shift. When Bon suddenly tells Bushi, yeah, hey, I'll help you fight the knockers. I'll lend you an army. Again, no brainer there, folks. Because basically, I do not trust this guy. <laughs> Dupa lang, I already. Dupa lang. Uh, confirm na ang trust issues ko sa uh, sa babadig-bading na karakter na to. So, these three gearships that I saw, do not watch just these three gearships. Watch the whole episode. Because, practically, a new character has been introduced here. And may play a really big role in season 2. That's what I think. Not wise.
Malinis ang plot, guys. I just realized now that I have um, accidentally turned off the mic while adjusting the mic stand. But I was I was saying here that you only need a clean plot to um, to properly introduce a character. So pace, flow, and plot. Yep, they all came together for this episode, folks. The eternity has given us another great episode, episode three, pa lang, ha? and introduced us to a very questionable uh, character. So, the eternity season two, episode three. After uh, yeah, after the technicalities, here's my rating, guys. Two thumbs up. Well, just have to wait for the next review, guys. See ya.